In today's video, I'm going to show you a really cool Mac tip, how you can control your computer with your voice. Now, you might have heard that they're coming out with Siri-like functions in the new OS that's coming out, which I think is going to be pretty cool. But in the meantime, there's no reason why you can't control your Mac with your voice in El Capitan. And even when Siri-like functions come out in the new operating system, you still may want to use this in this way because it really makes sure that the responses that you get when you give a voice command is exactly what you want. So I'm going to show you how I set up a few commands just to be able to control things like opening up Google, opening up my app store, and also uh, to run an automator function, uh, which basically means I can create an automation and then say a voice command and that automation runs. So let's get started to do the simple one so that everybody can get the feel for it. And then if you want to go to the advanced one, that's pretty cool too. First thing you need to do is go to your Apple menu, go to your system preferences, and look for dictation and speech as a uh, control panel. Open it up, go to dictation tab, and make sure that you have dictation on. Probably yours will be off, so definitely turn that on and also turn on use enhanced dictation. Now as you can see here it says press the function key twice uh, to activate it and the function key is on your lower left hand corner. It's the one that says FN on it. It's next to your control key and below your shift key on your lower left hand side. Next you're going to go to text to speech and uh, make sure that you have this button called Open Accessibility Preferences, which should be there. And when you click on it, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see something called Dictation. Click on it, and then there'll be this button called Dictation Commands. This is where you can set up your kind of special settings that you want it to do and how you want it to do it. But also note that below it, you can enable the dictation keyword phrase. I'm going to call it Siri. I'm going to have my dictation keyword phrase be Siri. And the reason is, is if I say Siri, it will automatically know that I want to have dictation. So it's Siri's good because you never use the word anywhere else, but it could be anything. You can call your Mac computer anything you want, um, and you could use a word um, to command the dictation part to be any word you want. Now, once you're done with that, check all those boxes and then click the dictation commands. There's a little plus sign here. So I'm just going to show you how you set them up, but these are the ones I've already manually set up. You will see a whole bunch that is already set up below it, but the ones here at the top are the ones I individually set up. So if you hit the plus sign, first it's going to ask you what do you want to say. So maybe I'm going to want to say stop. And it could be used in any application. And then you can choose to either paste text, to paste data, to press a keyboard shortcut for you, to select a menu item for you, or to run a workflow. And uh, basically any of these should work out beautifully. Um, I'll show you how I set them up. Um, in a case where you just want to open a URL, you can say Google, which is the one that I set up, and then you can choose open URL, and you would put in here HTTP uh, colon slash slash, you know, www.google.com, and then that would be done. Now obviously it's giving me an error because I have one already done so I'll just call it two just to make sure that it's there. Now I'm not going to actually save this one but um, I just wanted to show you that's all there is to set it up. So let me just minus that out so that removes it and basically you would put that in and just hit done and then you'd be done. Now when I say the word Google the Google application should open. So let's get started and see if that actually works, okay? So here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is go down to the desktop and I'm going to hit my function key twice, okay? So that's just going to activate dictation. You can also say the word uh, Siri and that should also do it, but I'm going to just hit the function key just to show you what happens. Now you'll also note that on your menu items, you're going to see this little microphone show up. And it says, listen without requiring the keyboard phrase, or you can have it with required the keyboard phrase of Siri. So I'm going to hit the function key twice and try my command called Google. 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 
Now, as you can see, when I said the word Google, it opened up my web browser automatically, which was which would be whatever the default browser is, and then it went to the web page Google. Well, as you can see, I've set up a couple of other things, which is another web browser I put for my Google YouTube channel. And so let's try that one out now. Again, I'm going to hit the function key twice to activate it. I'm going to wait a minute, uh, like a couple of seconds, not a minute, but a couple of seconds to give dictation a chance to start up. Channel. So as you can see, it went immediately to the channel, which was another URL that I used. I'm now going to hit the function key twice to turn it off and to turn it on. So that basically shows you how you can command the computer using uh, these kind of like functionality with your voice uh, to open up web pages or web browsers. Let's try something else. Now I also have one called the App Store, which is simply opening up the App Store application. So let's give that a try. But this time, I'm going to use the word Siri. Siri, App Store. And as you can see, because I used the word Siri first, it automatically uh, took care of opening it up and running the command. I also uh, did another one which was pretty cool, which is an automator action. Let me show you what I mean. So here in the word hello, I'm running a workflow. A workflow means um, something that was created using the automator application, which is built into the Mac. And if you kind of double click on the automator, uh, here you go. This is the item that I did. Uh, you just look for run shell script. You kind of drag it over here. Uh, and then it gives you this uh, opening and you type in something here say the say command in the terminal if you've watched any of my other videos allows the computer to talk back to you so I'm going to try to say hello to the computer and then I'm going to have it respond back using this automated workflow now when I save this I saved it as a file and it looks like it right here that's the file and when I attached it over here it says perform hello app it actually ran the workflow and if you take a look there's other and that's how I grabbed it um, to bring it in but there's lots of other ways of doing it but let's just try this way and see how it works okay Siri hello hi there Shani welcome to the world of Apple so as you can see, using the word Siri and having the word uh, workflow afterwards, meaning hello, which is a, a workflow that I created, activates anything you want. So imagine if you wanted to voice command 20 applications to open in the beginning and uh, your email to be opened, uh, other things to be closed. You can do all of that within the Automator actions. That's a whole little area for you to learn, but it is called Automator. And the Automator action that I showed you was a very simple one. I'll even uh, include it if you want to download it and try it out yourselves. So I hope you like uh, this particular video. I love this little tip, and it, it's great to control your computer with uh, your voice. Um, like the video if you like the video, and if you want to see more tips, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening.